Good morning, everyone. I think it's the morning. It's like three minutes to midday, so it's nearly the afternoon. Um, but yes, it is a very wet and windy, blustery day. And this is what I would say is like a typical British winter weather, where it's just gray, it's drizzly, it's really windy, it's cold. That's what it's like. And I think it's going to be like that all week, which is such a shame. I can't even speak. Um, and also going into the weekend, which is a shame as well. But anyway, I am going to be showing you some bags that I got the other day. I wanted to do an unboxing, but I just wasn't able to film it. It was typical. Um, Royal Mail deliveries, I'm guessing it's because Christmas is coming, but Royal Mail deliveries are getting later and later. And the delivery literally came at like 6.30 in the evening, which I've never had a Royal Mail delivery at 6.30 in the evening ever. And um, so that was a shame because if it was early on in the day and it would have been a little bit quieter in the house, I would have done an unboxing. But by the time it arrived, there was just too much noise and there was nowhere for me to be able to go to just do it nicely and all of that. And I considered leaving it boxed up and then filming it, but then it was the weekend and I'd have to wait till Monday. There's no way I was going to wait until Monday. So I've had them for a few days, but I really was excited to show you. I'm going to kind of, I'm in, in the dining room at the table um, and I'm going to show you the bags here, but then I will also cut to some clips, like full body clips of me with the bags doing a little bit of modeling for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like with the outfit and things like that. So I actually got these bags from a brand called Handbag Crave um, and I don't know how long they've been around. I only learned of them this year and I actually worked with them this year um, and they very kindly sent me some bags. They asked me, what bags would you like? And they sent me them. So I'm still going to be completely honest. I'm going to give kind of like a mini review and just show you the bags. Um, but there we go. I just had to say that I didn't pay for them, um, but I did get to pick whatever I wanted. And you guys know I don't wear leather. So most of their bags are leather, but I did manage to find some non leather pieces. So bag number one is this little guy. I can't remember what it's called, to be perfectly honest. I'm sorry, but you'll go on the website and you'll see it. Um, this is bag number one. It is a mini bag. They have the bigger designs, but they are leather, so I didn't buy them, or I didn't choose that. But this is what it looks like. How cute is this? How cute. It is so cute gorgeous it's this tan color with the white stitching personally i feel that tan with white stitching is just the best it's so smart looking it's got the little feet at the bottom it's very very well made even though it's not leather it's still high quality the bags are not cheap um, this was the cheapest bag it's not leather and it's tiny so i think it was 55 or 60 pounds um, and the bags run up to a couple of hundred so they're not cheap but like i said most of the bags are actually leather it was just this one and the other one i literally picked the only two non-leather styles but if you do like this design but you want leather the bigger versions are leather um, and it's got silver hardware this one i would have liked it in gold hardware actually um but i don't think they had the option but i do really like it still i've got the top handle so this is kind of looks like the kelly ms then we've got the crossbody strap and it's just really, really, really cute. And you can open it up. And in here I've got like one purse, um, but you can fit. I mean, it's a small bag. Let me show you Ooh, my Valentino just to compare. This is like my normal everyday go-to kind of small bag. And it's actually taller than the Valentino, but it's a little bit more narrow, slightly. So there's not much in it. One thing I do prefer over this, sorry, over this, is that 
I wouldn't leave this undone. If I was wearing this and left it undone, things could fall out or someone could just put their hand in. What I like about this one is that even if you leave it undone like this and you're wearing it crossbody, no one can just quickly put their hand in and also nothing can fall out because this is quite rigid, this is quite stiff and it, this flap stays over. So you have to physically lift it up, then put your hand in to get something out. So what that means is you can leave the bag undone and it's not going, you're not going to lose anything. So I really like that about it. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of this and I will cut to a little clip of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is bag number two. I was actually thrilled that this wasn't leather. I thought it would be. I thought the handles and, and the trim would be leather, but it's not. I believe this one is 90 pounds. Um, and this is obviously a, um, inspired by the Louis Vuitton. Um, and it's gorgeous. They do also have the classic dark brown shade, the tan, chocolate and tan color. Um, and I nearly went for that one, especially because it's winter. I just thought that one goes with everything and it's perfect for this time of year. But for me, this is the one that I'm drawn to. This is the one that I think just looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the other one, yeah, it's nice and it's like a classic, but for me, this is the one that I really like. I really see myself using this bag for so many different things so i'm always off in town i'm always off going to the high street i'm always going to the post office with my products so depending on how many orders i have if i had enough to fit in here i would definitely take this bag to the post office and use this as my like shopping tote or if i'm just popping to town i need to buy a couple of things this is perfect it's also a great day bag going on a day out especially as a mum and a wife don't know about anybody else but my husband always wants me to carry his things and I'm like, why don't you get a man bag? Why don't you get a bag? <laughs> and he's like, I don't need a bag. Well, you do because you constantly need to put your things somewhere and I end up carrying it. Um, and then the children want you to carry their things or if you're going on a day out somewhere and you might be buying things along the way, you might be buying refreshments and drinks and various things. It's just handy to have a bag like this. So it's perfect. Then, I thought this was perfect for going on holiday. So going on the plane as your kind of carry-on bag, I thought this is absolutely perfect. You can have some snacks in here. You can have the children's bits and pieces to entertain them on the flight, some toiletries, whatever. I just think it's perfect for that. And also as a beach bag. So when you actually go on holiday, when you get there and you go down to the beach, you can put your towels and all sorts in here picnic bag sorry as I'm talking I'm just getting more and more ideas um, but yeah you get the idea there's so many ways you can wear this bag and I just feel like it's classic um, I just love it I really really love it I was concerned like these straps are so thin um, and I was concerned that with it not being leather I did think to myself is this going to start peeling off I've had bags over the years where some of them have peeled because they've been a little bit cheaper um, and they've started to fray and it kind of like ruins the whole bag because the straps are, peel you know, are peeling off and it just doesn't look very good. Um, but then I've had bags where the straps have been the same for years, they've stayed intact, they haven't peeled, they haven't frayed and they've been perfect. 
Obviously, I've only just got this bag, so I won't be able to say how it lasts quality wise. Um, but they have so many fives, they've got hundreds of five star reviews on their website. So I, I'm pretty sure it's really high quality. Um, it does look amazing quality. This is the tag. It's what the tag looks like. You can see there, little care instructions. Then inside, we have this beautiful striped material. Then you've got this inner pocket and it's actually stamped there. And you can see the quality of the zip. It's just really, really, really great quality. And then it comes with a little pochette, which is gorgeous. I like to think I would use this at some point. I don't know where or when, but I'm sure I will use it at some point. But it's all very, very good quality. All the hardware is very sturdy. Also on here, on the inside of the bag, you have this little hook. So it hooks together to keep the bag from flailing open, which I absolutely love as well. And when I received it, this was actually hooked. This pochette was hooked onto it. So it was all hooked together like this, and this was attached like that. But I just really, really like it. I love it. It's very, very good quality. All the stitching is well done. I love the fact that they have the little stamp inside. Gorgeous. It did come with a dust bag, which I will show you. Um, and the dust bag is really good quality as well. The mini, um, mini Kelly did come with the dust bag, but it's just one of these kind of like standard thin ones. If I can actually put it back in, you get the idea. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't use this one to be perfectly honest. I just kept it to show you, but the dust bag that comes with this is amazing quality. And I feel like you could definitely keep it and travel with it and just keep your bag safe, especially because I feel like this potentially could get dirty. Um, but we'll just have to see. It's just a wipe down material. So hopefully fingers crossed it should be okay. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, so here is the dust bag, and this is much, much better quality, as you can see. Put that up there. Um, yeah, much, much better quality. Um, it's a bit screwed up, but I really like it. It's got the drawstring at the top, and it's much thicker material. And then you have, Stanley's come in, um, and then you have the logo, there we have the website. This is not sponsored. Um, I wasn't asked to do this video, but I was gifted the bags. Um, okay, so that's the website if you want to have a look. And yeah, it's just really, really nice quality. So let's pop it in. Just to show you. So easy, slots in really nicely. And there it is. Fits in nicely. Drawstring. Not sure what I've done here. Oh, okay. There you go. And it's in. So really nice to travel with or just to keep it looking fresh. So yeah, really like that. Speaking of my Valentino, I am considering selling this. This is the one that's also can double up as like a bum bag um, or fanny pack. Um, 
and obviously it's got the crossbody strap as well but i'm considering selling it for the simple fact that it is a funny size like i wanted this just to be my everyday bag which it has become but it's one of those sizes where it's too small to fit lots in but it's too big to be like a mini bag so you know if you've got a really really small bag and it literally just fits in like your phone, your bank card, and like a lip gloss or something. You know where you stand with that, you know when you're going to use it, and, and you're fine. But with a bag this size, it's one of those sizes where you can actually fit a lot more in there than what you initially thought. And so what happens is you start cramming more and more and more things in, but then you can't get anything because it's too small and everything's wedged in. And I just find it a really awkward size. I just wish it was either slightly bigger or slightly smaller. I know that probably doesn't make sense, but it's just really, really annoying. Um, so I'm considering selling it. I do love it, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I need to just go with something a little bit bigger and have that extra space so I can fit more things in it. I don't think I'm a mini bag person which is why I did think I wish this was bigger I wish I could buy the bigger size um but like I said it was leather um but I don't know we're going to see how we get on I actually took this into town today so that's why it's got my purse in there but it's just perfect to just grab a bag to pop into town you know to run a couple of errands or something but like I said this is ending up going out with me um on days out and things like that and i just end up trying to cram more things in and it's just not the right size so i'm just not sure i'm not sure let me know what you think um but yes that is my bags um i love them i think they're great and um yeah i absolutely love them i had to wear my new jumper to go with the bags because i love it and also my skinny jean jeans I will leave the link below to I do get all of my skinny jeans from the same place they're basically jeggings but rather than being like legging material they're like proper jean material but they're stretchy and for me they're like the perfect jegging ever and I wear them every single day I've got all different colors I've got navy I've got um, dark green black a stone kind of color all different shades um, and I want to get some more as well actually um, but I just love them and they're so inexpensive but they last I've had them all year and I wear them most days and they still are doing amazingly well so I will leave the link to them below as well <sighs> anyway I'm going to go I hope you guys enjoy the bags um, let me know what you think which one is your favorite I think I like the big bag I do love this I don't know this I don't know I don't know maybe this one I don't know um, but there's loads on there so if you do like leather bags then definitely check out the website um, and like I said if you don't wear leather there's a couple of designs on there as well but I highly recommend it as of now it was perfect the delivery was re really quick as well I think it was free delivery um, and it came in about four days I think um, which I think is great bearing in mind Christmas is coming and We've just had Black Friday, so they've probably been very busy. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.